I've been using three apps primarily to keep my life organized over the past three years. They help me manage my finances, my job, my personal life, YouTube, and even my mental health from time to time. Yeah, I didn't use it that time. But if you're feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or stressed about just how many things you have going on, you should give these a try. They're all easy to use, free and can help get you back on track relatively quickly. The first thing is the calendar because time management is the thing that makes everything else work. For this, I use Google Calendar because it's simple, cross-platform, has some multi-functionality and being part of the Google suite of apps, it integrates well with maps, email and even apps like meetup.com. I've used this calendar for both personal and business and I have to say that I absolutely love it for both. You have the ability to share your calendar on both of these, but the business version has the ability to schedule specific time availability, which comes in really handy if you end up dealing with clients that are a bit too enthusiastic, if you know what I mean. And the free version is also shareable, which makes cooperation a breeze since Google is available on almost every device. When it comes to juggling different parts of my life, like my studies, my work, YouTube, personal goals and relationships, the color coding is the best feature for me. Because I don't want to just organize life, I want to have a life. I use different colors to represent different things on the calendar rather than creating multiple calendars. For example, yellow is any social activity like a pre-planned phone call or going to an event. Purple is my creative activity, green is an income generating activity like green is downtime, tangerine is health, blue is chores and so on. This is really important to me because I get a bird's eye view of the life I'm building overall. Because if you're a busy person, you probably already found out making life more efficient doesn't mean you're creating the life that you want. Usually time finds a way to fill itself unless we're intentional about it. Hit like for your boy if you're going to use the calendar to live life on your own terms rather than be a slave to time. I like to review at the end of every month or so or whenever I'm feeling extremely stressed or anxious because every week isn't going to be perfectly balanced. Sometimes we have to just bite the bullet and grind for two weeks, but we can get a view of where our heads at using the color coding system and rebalance after this period to find out what is it that will restore order to our lives. Maybe we can do with more personal time. Maybe I can do with more relationship time. Maybe I can do with more downtime. I also really love that you can basically set it and forget it with Google Calendar. You can add people, add locations for your events, descriptions, and attach files. I tend to forget things a lot since my brain is focusing on so many different tasks that if it's not immediately in front of me, it doesn't exist. And that's really good for me because I get to focus on more important things, like learning that cats can't move their jaws side to side. Google Calendar does have its shortcomings though. Like copy and pasting events still isn't a function, which makes setting up multiple events really tedious. It's also occasionally problematic when using on a smartphone and trying to move a task off of the last day on the screen because it slides around and frustrates me. But overall, it's simple, easy to use, and you won't have to spend a cent, and it works across multiple devices. So that's a big W from me. For finances and managing all things tracking, I use a different application from the Google Suite. So shout out to Google for keeping things free and easy to use. Google Sheets is my go-to for budgeting and tracking finances. There is nothing exceptional about it, and I know there are a lot of other applications out there that you're dying to let me know, so let me know in the comments below. But it has enough for me to see, analyze, and track my finances, and it doesn't have to be more complicated than that. You can create lists, create formulas, change currencies, and automate calculations based on the formats and formulas you've entered. And it also has some cool features that help you visualize your spending with the charts and graphs. So I use it to get a bird's eye view of my spending habits over time. Now, obviously, this isn't only good for finances. You can use it for targets, progress tracking, and anything that has calculations involved, Google Sheets can get it done. Real talk, I've never seen a bear, but the amount I know about them is ridiculous. It's also available across multiple devices, but I don't use it on my smartphone really, because it's just a much smaller version of what I see on my PC. 
so it's difficult to do anything with. I only ever really use it on my smartphone when I need to see information immediately. And even then, it's still a bit tricky. But overall, Sheets gets everything done and if you've ever used Microsoft Excel in the past, you can be up and running within two minutes. The final is by far my most commonly used application. I use it for everything from thought dumping, to-do list, memos, note-taking, shortlisting, and anything writing involved. I absolutely love it. It's Google Keep. I absolutely adore this app. It's simple and it gives just enough flexibility to do everything I need. You can record voice. Hello there. Hello there. Write. Create checklists. Add photos. Color code. Pin your important notes and even reorganize them based on when you're going to use them. I use Google Keep for my everything dump essentially. I have everything from my list of lifelong goals all the way down to my get to someday list of tasks. Hundreds of journal entries and if I'm on the go to film a video, I'll put my short list in here and I can even save photos as a reference. Sometimes I'll be out in public like at an art museum and I'll see something that's really interesting and inspiring and I'll just snap a quick photo of it, add it to Google Keep and down below write down what I learned from it or what information I got out of it. I use Keep to service basically every area and aspect of my life. And once again, because it's a Google tool, I can use it across multiple devices and at any given time. And that's really good for me because I'm actually on my third cell phone in the last two years from just dropping them and breaking them. So being able to just re-download all of my brain back into my phone makes it super simple and I'm so grateful to be able to do that. Let me know if it has any other apps that you think I can check out or anyone else viewing this video should check out that could help organize their life a bit better. And if you enjoyed this video, you can click here for another video. Hit subscribe for your boy. Thanks for watching. Boom.